Zerba Turban Book Review, Monday, July 9th, 2012, and today's book is Thai Nhat Han, who was actually nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize by Martin Luther King Jr. Anger, Wisdom for Cooling the Flames. He is probably the second uh, most popular Zen Buddhist, next to, of course, the Dalai Lama. He's, he is a Vietnamese Zen Buddhist. He's actually retired right now. He's 85 years old, living in France in a monastery. He talks about um, anger and how to deal with it. And, uh, you know, we all are angry. All of us deal with anger in some, some different ways. I deal with anger uh, by holding it in, being really hard on myself. Some people deal with anger by writing rude emails and uh, by yelling and screaming. Expressing anger wisely, this is what he says. When anger manifests in us, we must recognize and accept that anger is there and that it needs to be tended to. At this moment, we are advised not to say anything, not to do anything out of anger, which most of us do. We snap, we yell, we scream, we write rude emails. We immediately return to ourselves and invite the energy of mindfulness to manifest also in order to embrace, recognize, and take good care of our anger. Here's another one he rewrites, which is brilliant. Blaming other people always. Can't, you can't stop blaming people, man. Don't blame everything on the other person. Recognize first that the main cause of your suffering is the seed of anger in you. And that the other person is only a secondary cause. That's 100% completely, utterly, factually true. The angriest people I know are the ones who blame everyone else. They're the ones who think they should be in some position they're not at, either sexually, physically, career-wise, uh, money-wise. They're so angry, it's to a certain degree, they're self-consumed. They have a huge ego. They haven't failed. And they think they should be at some other level. And they're not. So they're, they take it out on someone else. I've also realized a lot of times you take out your anger on someone who you really respect. Who... Uh, quite kind and caring and who you're jealous of. That's who you usually take anger out on. When you vent your anger, you simply open the energy that is feeding your anger. The roots of anger are always there. And by expressing anger like that, you are strengthening the roots of anger in yourself. That is the danger of venting. Thai Nhat Han. He was um, good friends of Martin Luther King Jr. Anger. Boom, 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 boom. Anger, wisdom for cooling the flames. I could probably get this for all my friends, a lot of them, who are angry, bitter people. But I still love them. Still love them. 